So today we're going to talk about luring. A lure is, by the dictionary definition, anything that attracts, entices, or allures. So when we talk about luring in regards to dog training, we're talking about using something such as a toy or a piece of food, so something that is attractive to the dog, that we can then use to move or lure them into a certain position or a certain place. Food is more commonly used because it's easier to handle, it's easier to reward with quickly, and pretty much every dog has food drive. So I'm just gonna focus on luring with food in this video. Luring is super simple to do, it's really easy to understand, and it works works really well. The idea is that we're going to use our lure, which in this case is food, to move our puppies into whatever position we want and then reward them for it. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your puppy is hungry. If they've just had a really big meal and you're trying to get them interested in even more food, that might not work out so well. Unless of course they're a Labrador, in which case it probably doesn't matter. <laughs> then you want to get some treats. You want something that's soft and easy for a puppy to swallow quickly. So things like liver treats or even kibble aren't really that great because it takes them about 30 seconds to chew through a piece. Plus if they inhale it really quickly, they're going to start coughing. I like to use chopped up meat or bits of sausage. You want the pieces to be small enough to handle, but you don't want them to be too small. It has to be a reward, remember? So a crumb of food isn't really very rewarding. You're gonna take a few pieces of food in your hand and you wanna hold it in between your fingers like this. So you have the treat clenched between your thumb and your index finger. You wanna keep your treat tucked away so that your puppy or your dog can't just snatch it from you. And you also wanna try and keep your fingers tucked in because you don't want any little teeth grabbing onto certain digits. <laughs> then you're gonna take your hand to your puppy's nose. Now this is the part where some people get frustrated and some dogs get frustrated too. What you have to understand is that just because your puppy can smell that you have a treat, they're not immediately going to understand that the treat is in your hand and that they need to follow the treat in your hand. Some puppies will get it straight away and some get super confused. <laughs> But you just have to have some patience. If they move away, just bring them back again with the treat or even your hand. Eventually they'll connect the fact that the smell of treat is coming from the treat that's in your hand. It's at this stage that you can start moving them into any position that you want. I have a number of videos available where I use luring to teach things like sit or even drop. I'll link those somewhere around here for you guys to check out. And that's it. Those are the basics to luring. If you have any comments or questions, then please leave them down below and I'll do my best to respond. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye. Wow. That's my cats, by the way.